And now it's time for Food to Go. And for this Aloha Foodie Friday, we're headed to the American Savings Bank main campus on Bertania Street to check on a food truck that just opened this week for a great cause with some great grinds. Yes, we're talking about the Kupu Food Truck. And join us this morning with all the great details is Kaolana McCabe, the Senior Program Manager over at Kupu. And he joins us now live. Good morning, Kaolana. Thank you for waking up with us. Yeah, good morning. Okay, so I see you're inside the food truck right now, uh, so that looks great. And first of all, I just want to say congratulations for getting that all started. So, Kaulana, tell us a bit about the dream for this project and how has the first week in business been? Our first week in business has been amazing. Um, we've had some good lines that the team has been able to knock down and serve very quickly. And so um, it's been really exciting. Um, obviously, today is the last day for the first week, and so we're excited to get to the end of this week, but they, they've been doing great. Um, the dream is kind of a two-parter. Um, one part being on Kupu's end, the, the hope for the truck was always to be a um, another opportunity for our young adults to get paid work experiences so that they can kind of build off of that and work towards building themselves um, a great life. And so um, they enrolled in our programs out in um, Kiwalo Basin and our whole Kupu Center. And when they get into that program, they get access to a bunch of different resources, one of them being a GED pathway, another being um, case management, volunteer conservation work experiences, um, and a bunch of other things in addition to now as of this week they get to work on a food truck and actually serve um, the ASP teammates in the larger community um, the other part of that dream was of, of course American Savings Bank who's been an incredible longtime supporter of Kupu and its programs and um, together we were able to launch this truck and now our young adults in this truck are able to serve their teammates um, on their main campus and provide you know convenient uh, local and um, also great tasting food and so um, I'd also like to say that a lot of the young adults working in this truck don't live far from this place. And so they can actually walk to this area. They're not far. And so they actually get to come back and work in their own community and serve their community and make a great impact. And that sounds fantastic. What an amazing program helping out. Kupu already doing so much, but just another leg onto that uh, body of great goodness. So let's talk about the food, though, because uh, that's that's the main thing. What, do you, what kind of food are you guys offering on the menu, and what are some favorites that you guys have, uh, see people ordering? Uh, we have a really good wide option, wide array of options. Um, we have some salads. We have sandwiches. We have soups. We have rotating daily specials. Um, but... The favorites have definitely been, and um, I'd recommend this to any first-time customer, um, our roasted beet and goat cheese salad. Mm -hmm. We get to top off with some goat cheese from Sweetland Goat Farms, which is a farm out on the North Shore of Oahu. And by far, we believe that's probably the best goat cheese you're going to be able to get in the state. And so we're really happy to be supporting them and putting that on our salads. Um, and so that's a really uh, a good favorite of ours. And then the second one that I'd recommend and that others are really liking is one of our desserts, which is um, a hot kulolo with vanilla ice cream topped off with a goat milk caramel. And so that's also caramels from the same farm um, out on the North Shore. And so that's really awesome. And then the, kul um, the kulolo is actually being made by our kids um, using kalo that we're purchasing from y y y y Farms on the windward side of Oahu. And so that's another favorite that I think that everyone should definitely try out. Oh, that all sounds so good. Ooh, cool, Lolo with vanilla ice cream. Oh, I am hungry right now. Thank you for that. But also, there's a special today, so tell us about that. Yeah, um, so we definitely we post um, daily specials and weekly specials on our Instagram, but if you come down and mention that you uh, heard of us um, on KHON, we'll throw in uh, passion fruit iced tea, which is one of um, another one of our favorites, um, into your lunch for free. And so the kids like to top it off with a bunch of candy. And so while you're getting to drink that um, that iced tea, you get to snack on all the candy and get that sugar ice rush for the afternoon. <laughs> that sounds perfect. So all you got to do is go over there and mention that you saw Kupu's food truck on KHON2 and get that lovely passion fruit iced tea with the candy on top. Uh, so tell me, Kaulana, what's the best way uh, to find out more information about you guys? So easiest way is to follow our Instagram, Kupu Food Truck. Um, another way that you can get in contact with us or actually order um, is online. And so you can go to Kupu Hawaii dot square dot site forward slash kupu dash truck uh kupu dash food dash truck and so when you go online you can avoid the lines at the um at the food truck you can order online and you can pick up right at our pickup window and so that that'll be the most convenient ways 
Yes, and that sounds great. I just want to say thank you to Kaulana McCabe. Thank you so much for everything you do, bringing this great dream into fruition. The Kupu Food Truck, go check them out on Baritania Street at the uh, American Savings Bank main campus. So go ahead and do that. And don't forget to mention KHON2. Say that you saw them, saw them there, and we'll get that free passion fruit iced tea with the candy on top for extra bonus. <laughs> thank you so much, Kaulana McCabe. You have a wonderful day, and keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Mahalo. Yes, mahalo to you. Now, if you want to learn more about the Kupu Food Truck, just go to our website at kh12.com.